Okay, um, yeah, John, um, yeah, you put on the put on the documents here. It's the twenty. It's, it's the twenty fourth of uh, uh, June. Okay. Okay. Okay, I just want to take you back to, to uh, at uh, Waitangi on the 13th of December, you can see. This was a draft, the media release draft before this, before this one. So this one here was uh, the uh, uh, a draft prior to this. This is the one that, that um, Henny Fuddy and I had um, had an endorsed at, at Waitangi on the on the um, on the fourteenth of December. You can see the the date there, twenty twenty twelve fourteen. So that's the fourteenth of the twelfth, twenty twenty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was the date. That um, I need room to flip it over. I'll go, I'll go back to the to the last <coughs> page. That was the date that Henny Fuddy <coughs> and and myself we endorsed the um, the uh, <coughs> the media release, the declaration order at Waitangi. We were the only two that that were mandated to. To do this, I was mandated to spearhead this document on the 13th of uh, December, and so this was a draft prior to this, and this was um, finally um, signed by Henry Fuddy and myself on the 14th of uh, of December, and you can see it was embossed here with a notary seal, and that's um, um, Michael Stace's um, notary seal there on every page but anyway um, what happened is that uh, when we <coughs> Paula Sage and myself we were picked up in Wellington on the 21st of uh, December and um, we were we were picked up around about uh, may have been about eight eight p.m. or seven thirty p.m. or something like that, and uh, and um, we were picked up by um, Michael Stace and Michelle Hood, and we went to a, a restaurant, and then we we went to the um, the uh, Intercontinental Hotel where we stayed. So we got there. Got to the Intercontinental uh, Hotel about 9 30, 10 o'clock. And um, <clears throat> the thing is this if you if you look at this this declaration order, this is a copy that um, uh, uh, some of the papers that um, that uh, I got from Michael Stace. You can see this is the same as this. Without um, prior to he putting his ribbon on, but but he had put his ribbon on this on the twenty first of you can see uh, twenty one twelve twenty twenty there's the date okay so so he he um, rather redacted the original he changed it all around and. Um, what I what I saw, I thought, well, maybe maybe he was just trying to put a cover page on this, you know, maybe. But anyway, what what happened is this. I'll put that over there. Is that <clears throat> why didn't Michael Stace provide me a copy of this? On the night he picked um, Paula Sage and I up, so we can peruse it through the night, and then have some questions for him, because um, had he had done that, Paula and I would have at 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 the um, at the ho um, hotel, we would have compared this with that, but he 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 didn't. 
the morning that that um, that uh, uh, we were at the Intercontinental Hotel, there was uh, Te Hini and um, uh, Sheryl um, Kumaro. Kumaro. They both turned up from Hamilton, and uh, that was on the twenty second of December. And that morning, we we scheduled to to go uh, and issue these documents. This document our declaration in order and and return return flight back to Hamilton. Uh, um, so so what happened is that um, uh, it was after breakfast. Now they all went for breakfast uh, including Paula. I, I didn't go with them I didn't go and have breakfast with them. I, because I had my breakfast about six o'clock in the morning, um, early in the morning. Um, uh, the reason I had breakfast early in the morning because I couldn't sleep. You know, too much on my mind, and I, I couldn't get any sleep. So um, I was all showered all, all up and all that, and I had my breakfast, and I was ready to go. And then um, what happens? They turn up. They all had breakfast, and after breakfast. Um, uh, Michael opens his bag and he had he had five of these done you know so so uh, what I'm saying is this is this was the document that we um, intended to serve as our um, declaration and order was this but he rolls in with, with five of these and he's and he and he opens it up, and so like like I said, when he opened it up, that page there was basically like this, but it had it had Michael Stace's thumbprint on it too, and you can see the date twenty first of December. You see, and then it's got. 21st, 12th, 2020. Now, he showed this on the morning of the 22nd. Now, for some reason, he didn't want to provide this on the on the on the um, on the uh, Monday night when we arrived in Wellington. <coughs> he didn't want to. Sh he didn't want to. Sh he didn't want to show Paul and I this at all. He waited till the next morning after, and not he didn't even he he could have um, given this to me to peruse through while they were having breakfast, but he he chose not to do that either. After breakfast, he opened up his bag and he said, "Oh, Alfred, Alfred, you need to you need to put your seals on these and thumbprints." So I went along and did it, you know, because we were ready to go. And so, um, and then I, it never dawned on me that, um, wait on, he's included himself on there, Michael Stace. It never dawned on me. When I saw, uh, saw, um, uh, um, uh, um, Henry Fuddy's, um, thumbprint and all that and all that, it, it never dawned on me. I, I, um, actually, I thought, Really, really, I needed to redo it because he had put it. This is like it looked like this was just a cover page. So I thought, well, okay, we've done a cover page, and, and he, he's he's put the ribbon through and 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 notarize it with a seal that has no embossing on it. Okay, so okay, let's let's. Look, let's look at um, at the um, morning when we all went down to Wellington. Okay, and um, the thing is, Michael Stace knows that the original original document that was endorsed at uh, Waitangi never included Michael Stace, and this document here never included this. Modi crown on our document. He added, he 
it was like he and Lady Crown were trying to create a joinder with the with the Confederation of Chiefs and, and trying to claim that the Confederation of Chiefs had um, had basically conferred our mana to this Modi Crown postmaster co-papa over in Rangiho in um, Sydney we, we, we did not we did not we did no such thing now I want to explain because ok Lady Crown claims that in her videos <coughs> she claims that this delivery receipt here with our thumbprints on it and all this was part of the document that um, Michael States had, his, had in his hand when we were there and, and he deliberately showed uh, uh, his bundles of paper showing uh, part of this and, and, and Lady Crown says Oh, full disclosure, full transparency. No, you know, the thing is, she came up with this in, in her letter. She claimed here that the Royal Decree was part of the 11th of December Hui in Waitangi, full transparency. That was full transparency with the Taumata of Tati Marai, a private Hui, NZPP, and Purple Thumb had nothing to do with the Confederation. We were not there. We were not present on the 11th of December at that hui. So for her to say that, wait on, there was full transparency of this at the 11th of uh, December hui, well, the Confederation Chiefs weren't part of it. So there was no full transparency to the Confederation of Chiefs whatsoever. And, and she can't claim those things. She was, this is only hearsay from her. She wasn't even there. Okay? So, so the question is, when she, <coughs> this was all printed out on, on, on the, um, on uh, what she posted up on, on, on Facebook. Okay? And, and she showed, she showed this part, the delivery receipt, 22nd of December, 12th of uh, 22nd of December 2020. The, now the question is, how did this end up in here uh, amongst her bundle? She is trying to claim that when Michael Stace had this in his hand, this bundle, and you, sa you said it was a 62 page document, it was 62 pages, they're trying to claim that this was in there on the 22nd of uh, December when we were there. No, that's, that, is a, that is a blatant lie. It's impossible. Okay? Because I'll show you. i show you the process, what, what happened. Okay? Now, okay, look. If, if, if I'm going to, if I'm going to go, like, we roll up to the New Zealand Treasury, okay? So, each time, I, each time I had two documents, and I and I put the other uh, others, I left the others in my bag. So I roll up there with two documents, okay, and and um, I serve one on on Anthea Williams, the the solicitor at the, at the New Zealand Treasury, okay, and when I did that, I asked, okay, like like, let's say let's say I served this one. And I, this is, and I asked him, see, see here, this what, this is what it was like. It was blank, it was blank, okay. And and so I I asked Anthea um, Williams, the solicitor, here, here's the example. See, it, it was the the back the back of this was blank. So when I served it, when I served this. Um, when I served this to Anthea Williams, the back page was like this, nothing. But on mine, I asked her, can you, 
receipt it okay and I did it to to the PMO office and I also did it to the um, Gregory Bowen of the Governor General office so it ended up like first it started off like this and then it ended up with just these three signatures on there were no thumbprints on here whatsoever okay because after we this is how we went in order New Zealand Treasury then the um, Prime Minister office then we went to the Governor House after the Governor House we, we went to the restaurant and then after we after the restaurant the four of us were taken to the to the Wellington Airport by Michael Stace and Michelle Hood. Our fl flight returned to Hamilton on the 22nd of, of, of uh, December. So we, I think we may have got dropped off around about, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, about, mid about one o'clock, something, something like that. And, um, and uh, so, so we caught the, the next flight back. So you can see that at the, at the um, when, when Michael Stace well, with Lady Crown showing the videos at the, at the New Zealand Treasury, at the, at the Prime Minister office and at the Governor General when showing, showing those videos, there were no thumbprints like this on the documents when we left the governor house it was like this then when we went to the restaurant i had i had asked everyone that was there at the restaurant to put their thumbprints on and and date it and and, and sign it that they were witnesses. Now, for some reason, <clears throat> Michael decides to put it twice. You know, you can see he wants to control everything. He did it twice. But anyway, so the question is that that um, Lady Crown is claiming that they served at the same time as I was there, serving document the documents which had nothing on theirs but on mine was like that now <clears throat> there were no thumbprints no thumbprints on, on the copy I had so when Lady Crown claims that this document was served with this that's a blatant lie because you notice, you know that this one here is embossed. This one's not embossed. Okay. The thing is, if if Michael Stace claims he he got he got them all to 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 receipt this um, declaration order, where did he get the authority to 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 um to serve? The declaration order. He never got the he never got the mandate and the authority from Waitangi. He never whatsoever. And, but but um, uh, uh, um, Lady Crown's letter claims that the Confederation of Chiefs commissioned um, um, Michael Stace. That's that's a blatant lie, because it was the twelfth of December when I was at Waitangi that uh, uh, three people came looking for me from the admin and they were all pa and, and they were part of Purple Thumb and apparently part of N um, NZPP and and they said that uh, they needed my assistance and they said that Michael Stace and Alistair uh, Waite were looking for me because they required my service so when, when Lady Crown uh, mentions in her letter that the Confederation of Chiefs commissioned Michael Stace. No, it's the other way around. 
They ask for my service, not I ask for theirs. They ask for me to help to get um, Lady Crown across here. So, so um, Lady Crown has twisted everything. She's twisted everything. Because here, um, where does she say, she says it here. Both, here it is, both the Crown of the Maori Nation and the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes of Aotearoa, she's got Aotearoa, instead of Aotearoa, is that a new country? Mm. Okay. So she said, uh, the Confederation of Chiefs of the United Tribes of Aotearoa commissioned the services of Michael State to serve the Royal Decree. And the, no, no, that's, that's, a, that, that's just a blatant lie. I was there to serve it. Because I, because I was mandated for and on behalf of the Confederation of Chiefs to do so. Not Michael Stace is not a member of the Confederation of Chiefs. He is a member. He, he was a member of NZPP, a political party. You can't be. You can't have be a member of a, a part of a, a political party who are under the New Zealand Crown and be part of our confederation of chiefs because we have no treaty with the New Zealand Crown we have no treaty with the NZPP we have no contract with the NZPP we have no contract with the New Zealand Crown so Michael Stace and all Billy Takahika and all those who are part of the purple thumb those people are in the system with the system Okay, so 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 basically, you can see that when I went to I went to the restaurant, I asked them all to to um, receipt this. Okay, so that ended up being uh, um, three step three. I, I I got it here. That was step three. Now, this was done at the restaurant. So. They, they never, they failed in their video to show full transparency what are the 62 pages? What are the 62 pages? See, this is only 10 pages, okay? Because uh, this is what Lady Crown put up on, on, um, on, uh, on, on YouTube. She, on Facebook, she put a 10-page document up. And then uh, she had this at page 9 of 10. And she claimed that this was part of a document that was served. It's impossible. Because, th because this was done after we did the job. Okay? So they must have, they must have, to get this done... They've already copied and pasted this from 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 my document and placed it on this, and may have gone back, and that's what, and, and and they would have served that with this on it afterwards. You know what I mean? Mm. You know. So no, it was just complete con job right from the get go, uh, John. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you know it's like um, uh, fraudulent conveyance and. You know, it, 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 you know, they knew, they had a hidden agenda. You know, and they carried it out. So, um, so, so we're going to have to pursue this, John. Yep. Okay. okay. Is that enough? Yep, that's enough. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's covered. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll switch it off now. Yeah.